Are you frustrated just like me? You want to edit your sick, beautiful Canon R5 footage, but it's so laggy, there's delays, you can't scroll through your timeline, it's, it's so frustrating, you just give up. Well, before you give up, maybe this trick will help you edit faster and take all the frustration out of it. Let's go. All right, guys, we are over at the computer now. Now we are here in my editing program, Adobe Premiere, and I've been working on this project for a little while, and I'm just going to press play and let you guys see how terrible it is. I press play, loading, loading. All right, it's, it's actually playing. You can see you see the timeline moving, um, or you, you can see the you can see the line moving, but literally nothing's happening. Oh, boom! We we just jumped like three hundred frames. Now I have it full right here. Look, I'll even go to the lowest quality possible. All right, and I'm gonna press play. Maybe a little better, but no chance. No chance. But yeah, guys, I know a lot of y'all are having this exact same problem. The footage, you can't scroll through it on your timeline. You can't play it. It's frustrating. My computer is over $2,000, and it's not. It, it cannot handle this footage. So the best thing that you can do that has fixed all of this for me is to make proxies now how do you make proxies let me show y'all so if we go right here to our media bin the bottom left you can see I'm going to select all the clips and then I'm gonna right click proxy create proxies um, which format you want it you know maybe if you're on Mac you'll do QuickTime but I do I did h.264 which is a pretty common Kodak and most if not all computers support that and then just to make sure I have the best performance I'm gonna do low resolution you can get away with medium maybe even high but let's just do low and then you're gonna pick the destination where you want it to save um, I usually save it in the same folder that I have you know this exact footage in just make a separate folder called proxies so we'll hit OK and then it's gonna load Adobe Media Encoder alright so once you hit OK it's gonna load Adobe Media Encoder you can see right here um, it's saying you know ready 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 it's loading everything in you know, we're gonna let it load in. What you're gonna do next is click this green play button right here to start it. And it's going to render and export each clip into that folder you selected for the proxy folder. So now if we go into our file explorer and look for the folder where we did the proxies, you see right here I made a folder called proxies. So now that we're in the folder, you can see all the proxies that we've made. So now we have to go back to Adobe Premiere and we have to tell Adobe to use those proxies. So you're gonna go right here to this plus sign, you're gonna click it, and you're gonna click this button right here, toggle proxies. Now you're gonna probably be using this button a lot, so drag this button onto your main timeline, your main control center. So now we see we have that button right there. I'm gonna click toggle proxies alright guys so once you hit that proxy button see we had blue right here proxies are turned on you can see if you go into our bin to our folder where all our clips are you can see they have all of this the proxy icon saying that the proxies is linked to the clips and you know the proxies are activated so now that this whole timeline is replaced with proxies look how much better it runs I'm gonna press play it's playing the clip perfectly. It's playing just how it should. I'm going to pause it, play it. Pause it, play it. 
see it's instant it's beautiful no interruption no lag we can even scroll through the timeline see scrolling no problem so yeah guys proxies game changing it's annoying that you have to do this every time to edit you know 10 bit c log 3 footage on the canon r5 and r6 and you know all the future canon cameras but yeah guys that's the video please drop a like please subscribe i'm grinding this whole youtube thing so yeah guys thank you see ya